studying math and physics simultaneously, but I think math was just a tool for me. Physics was the real study that I wanted to do. The mentoring role of teachers holds a special significance for Wasserbeck. As an undergraduate at the U, he was undecided about his career until two professors helped him realize his passion. One of my professors suggested that I would probably not be satisfied if I stopped with a bachelor's degree. And so uh, I, I just believed what he said. I, I, I thought that he was probably right. And I'm, I'm glad that I followed his advice. It's rigorous. You need to double check and triple check everything that goes into your results and just the idea that everything needs to be done correctly and everything needs to be working is uh, an idea that I learned more clearly by working with him and in that group. Upon completion of graduate school at Stanford, Wasserbeck landed at the world's top spot for particle physics research, Switzerland's European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known by the French acronym CERN. Two decades after his first appointment, Wasserbeck finds himself at CERN once again as the world's largest particle physics lab enters uncharted territory. Universities are built on the reputations of their faculty members. We have a very fine faculty here at Utah Valley University. We are making our way into the big leagues, let me say, by the fact that we have such wonderful faculty members here. Steve Wasserbach is one of those professors who is at the top of his field. He chose Utah Valley University because he likes the notion of being engaged with his students. He loves to teach. His uh, office is always filled with students. He's one of our very best teachers. And at the same time, he's at the top of his field in research. He is a very rare professor. When there is a need to do something in a precise way, I get excited and I get out the ruler and we are going to measure it down to the millimeter and better if possible. And Located hundreds of feet underground at the France-Switzerland border, the LHC is a two-lane superhighway designed to cause head-on collisions between subatomic particles. Two beams, each containing billions of tiny protons, are inserted into the LHC's dual tubes, then begin circling the 17-mile racetrack in opposite directions. The particles gain energy with every lap, maxing out at nearly the speed of light. Established in 1954 by a coalition of European scientists, CERN is a sprawling campus of labs, offices, and high-tech instruments, all dedicated to the study of particle physics. In 1968, Georg Charpak developed a new particle detector technology called multi-wire proportional chamber, a work that eventually earned him the Nobel Prize in 1992. In 1990, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web at CERN, in March 2010, CERN's LHC produced collisions at energies as high as 7 trillion electron volts. I find it interesting that we can participate in an experiment that hasn't been done before and we can explore uh, phenomena that haven't been explored. We don't know what's going to happen when the Large Hadron Collider begins to operate at higher energies. There are dozens of experiments at CERN at any given time, but the lab's claim to fame is particle collisions. These experiments will simulate the forces scientists believe may have shaped and continue to impact the universe, albeit on a smaller scale. CERN is the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, so it's a place where uh, many experiments are ongoing all the time to try to understand those questions. The LHC is one of their largest projects, it's the largest project ever undertaken at CERN 
before, and it's the most exciting project in the field of particle physics now. By 2012, the LHC is slated to produce its highest energies, which will be double those achieved in March 2010. The Large Hadron Collider gives us an opportunity to investigate the interactions of particles and possibly discover the existence of other types of particles that haven't been seen before because it produces collisions with much higher energy than what's been done before. I was excited to have the chance to bring my family overseas because uh, you really do see that the way we do things in the United States and in Utah is not the only way that things are done. It's been great to see my children have an opportunity to be with people from many different countries. I think it's also going to leave us with an appreciation for uh, the way things are in the United States and uh, there are some things of course that we're just accustomed to and some things that are just plain better in the United States that we'll be happy to get back to. The most exciting thing to me about physics is the opportunity we have to explore areas that haven't been explored yet and we're, we're trying to gain a, we're trying to devise a simple explanation for the way things work and we're making a lot of progress in finding that simple underlying description and I find that uh, very satisfying that there is uh, that possibility that we can just by doing experiments deduce uh, the rules that govern everything that's happening. Steve Wasserbach is very important to the College of Science and Health at Utah Valley University. He's one of our very best. But beyond that, he's very important to the university. He is known internationally. He has been involved in experiments that are uh, nationally and internationally known. We are very, very fortunate to have him here as a representative of Utah Valley University. Thanks to his CERN appointment, Wasserbeck will have even more to offer his students when he returns to teach at UVU. For one, he will have concrete examples to help his students appreciate that what they're learning is truly significant. And though UVU is not a Tier 1 research university, Wasserbeck's CERN connection could open up opportunities for UVU students down the road. Well, I think that the path is exactly the path I want to be on, but I'm still planning to do much more, hoping that I'll have a, the occasion and the, the right circumstances to do something more profound than I've done in my physics research. I feel like I'm just getting started.